Hey everybody, welcome back to Kenshi uh, in another tutorial series or an informational series. I'm not really sure what to call them. What we're doing here today, okay, so I had one of my subs ask me, you know, why don't you uh, let your dogs uh, or your animals run because uh, they'll get faster, they'll train your athletics. And uh, he was absolutely right, uh, they do. And I thought, okay, well, I think, I think my thinking was they don't really get much faster until they're adults, but I didn't really know what age they actually get faster at. And so what I wanted to do is take a look at that with you guys. Uh, so I made a mod basically that would create my starting squad of um, bone dogs, right? So we've got pups and we've got teens and we'll also cover adults and elders. Uh, we want to look at all the speeds. And what the first thing we kind of want to look at is what's the difference between uh, sort of the pups that have, so I've, I've labeled them pup 20, pup 40, pup 80, and pup 100. And what that means is that I've set that bone dog stats, all of their stats, attack, strength, dexterity, basically all their stats to 20. Now what's weird about that, okay, if you notice, when we look over here, this bone dog, even though I've set its stats to 20, it's set, it's zero, right? Its strength is zero, its dexterity is zero, everything's zero. And even when you look at the stat screen, everything is zero, even though I know it's not, okay? Now what's going on with that? If we take a look at the age tooltip here, in the middle of the screen, when I hover over that, you can, well, for a brief second, it pops up, and it's not very useful that it doesn't stay open like that. It says stat multiplier 0, 0.0, right? Uh, maybe if I just keep moving the mouse around. Okay, so we can see the stat multiplier says 0, 0.0. Now that's, that's, what the trick is. This pup, because its age is absolute zero, it has a 0.0x multiplier, which means even though I've set its stats to 20, and we can verify that its athletics are 20, right? If I mouse over the run speed, which is 8 miles an hour, it says athletic skill 20. Even though it's, it's, it, it is 20, right? Even though it is 20, if we look in here, athletics is zero. Well, that's interesting. Okay. So that's the stat multiplier. That is what this age of the dog or the bull, or effectively, that's what that does, is it multiplies your base stat times that multiplier to give you your effective stat. It's sort of like when you wear gear and it gives you a, a you know, a minus, um, you know, 10 to defense or whatever. It does the same thing. So this acts as like a, an after base stat multiplier. Now, here's the interesting. So effectively, like if we look at all these, other than their dodge, right? It, it looks like for some reason the dodge, I'm, I don't really know what that's all about. It looks like he gets a plus 10. So maybe they get a, yeah, I'm not really sure what's up with that. It does look like there's a slight difference though in the speed, right? So we've got an eight miles an hour, nine miles an hour, 10 and 10. So that's with 20 uh, skill, 40 skill, 80 skill and 100 skill on a pup of zero age. Now, if we look at the teens, okay? So here we got a pup. And here we got a teen. Now the teen is already 12. Now the teen is age 50. And then it's 70 to get to an adult. And it's 120 to get to an elder. Now I don't think those are days. Because what I noticed is that they get about two and a half age in a day. Uh, it takes between, somewhere between 9 and 10 hours before they get another multiplier increment. And each one of those increments corresponds to their age. Uh, in uh, the Forgotten Construction set. So maybe if somebody knows more about that, they can chime in in the comments below and let me know exactly how that works. But it seems to be, at least for bone dogs anyway, uh, that about between 9 and 10 hours, every 9 and 10 hours, they get another increment in age and multiplier. So almost three a day, not quite. Um, so two and a half maybe or so. Uh, and once they get to age 50, they will become a teen, and this is how their stats look. So... Uh, we've got 20, uh, sorry, we've got, for the 20, we've got 12 miles an hour. For the 40, we've got, and so I should show you also before I move on, uh, the teen multiplier, look at that, so it's 0.4, right? So now, even though I've set his stats to 20, his stats are all 8. So he is getting a bonus to his run speed, not a lot, but he is getting about 4 miles an hour over what the pup was. And then teen at 40 is still 12 miles an hour, a teen at 80 skill. So even though you you may have 80 skill, it will still treat you as if you only have uh, 0.4 times that 80, right? So it'll it'll be less a little bit less than half, essentially. Uh, so your athletics will be 32. It'll treat it, treat your speed as if you actually have an athletics of 32. And the same goes here. So we can see the 0.4 multiplier comes out. It's easier to see because we have 40 attack, 40 strength and uh, 40 athletics up here. 
instead of 100, which is what I set it to. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the adults. So just to, just to sort of recap, the slowest you can go is 0 skill, or 20 skill, I should say, as a pup is 8. And then, and this is the, the youngest pup, right? This is not the oldest pup or anything. This is the absolute youngest pup you can get. So you can range anywhere between 8 and 10 miles an hour on the first day as a pup. If you theoretically had 100 skill, you would be going 10 miles an hour. Now for a teen, the, the absolute slowest, well, not the absolute slowest, but the 20, if you had 20, which is pretty easy to get to, you would be going 12 miles an hour. And this is on the first day as a pup, uh, so age 50. And... Uh, if you had 100, you'd be going 14 miles an hour. So it's not a big difference, right? So you can imagine uh, between the skill of 20 and the skill of uh, 100, there's n there's hardly any difference between the teens. Okay, so there's a 2 miles an hour increase, just like there's a 2 mile an hour increase on the pup. So the next thing we're going to do is take a look at the adults and see how they compare, and the elders as well. Okay, so now we're looking at adults and elders. Oh, uh... Well, it looks like I didn't... Oh, it's just not showing up. It did label them correctly. Okay, so we've got adult 20 through adult 100, and we've got elder 20 through elder 100. So let's take a look at adults. Now, remember the fastest we could get an, uh, a teen to go when it first turned a teen, which is at age 50. Now adults turn adults at age 70, so it's much quicker to go from a teen to an adult. So you've got 20 increments of aging, which I believe should take uh, you know, six or seven days. Uh, between teen to adult, if I'm doing the math right now, I may not be, but I, th I believe that. So I haven't fully tested that, so they, your <laughs> results may vary. But I believe it'll take somewhere between six and seven days uh, or so to go from turning into a teen to turning into an adult. So a fresh adult, brand new adult, um, at 20 stats. Now we can see the multiplier again. It's got a 0. 0.6. So it's going to be 13 miles an hour. Now we go up to 14 on a, a 40 and a 15 and then up to 16 as a brand new adult with 100 stats now 100 stats that's i mean that's going to take you a very long time to get to right especially running as slow uh, as 16 or 15 miles an hour so i really i think what we can see here and this is what i was trying to figure out like i, I don't know when to start using a bone dog when is it going to be able to keep up with my characters uh so let's take a, a look at a fresh adult or a fresh elder rather because it doesn't look like adults are going to be able to keep up i mean it's more likely that you will be somewhere between 40 and 60 or this is 40 and 80 but you'll be somewhere in between those while when you're an adult right so you're probably like my adult bone dog right now is going about 15 miles an hour and so it's it's much slower than my tanks, which I think with the cybernetic limbs move around 23 miles an hour. Without them, they'd probably be moving at 20 or 21 with their heavy armor on. So you're going to, you know, your bone dog is basically going to be your limiting factor in terms of speed. The bulls that adult can keep up easily, and we'll do a video on that too. So elders, it looks like we start at about 17. This is a brand new elder. Now it's about 50 days to go from being an adult to an elder. So it's, it's also, it's about the same amount of time as going from being a brand new pup to being a, a teen. So it takes quite a bit longer than going from a teen to an adult. But once you get to be an elder, you notice at, at 20 stats, which you probably will have higher than that, but if you had 20 stats as an elder uh, at age 120, uh, which will be at around day 40 uh, or so, uh, you'll have 17 miles an hour. Now, when you have 40 stats, you'll be at 18. And it's a brand new one, right? So they do continue to age past brand new elder. They get bigger and bigger and bigger, and they get faster and faster and faster. And you can see there, the multiplier now is 1.1 as a brand new elder. And then as basically once you have, uh, so once you have um, 200 and, or sorry, <laughs> once you are at sort of, um, a brand new elder with max stats, which is unlikely. You're more likely going to have somewhere around between 60 uh, to 70, maybe, uh, maybe 50 to 70, something like that when you become an elder. Uh, if you're using your bone dog as an adult uh, in reasonably difficult territory, fighting enemies that have 50 to 60 in their stats or, you know, 40 and above. Uh, so it's it's really not going to happen that you're going to be an elder. Now, what, the next thing we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at some older elders that are more around um, 150 days or so, and we'll look at some that are around 
uh, 300 days to kind of get an idea of what they would look like if you, or sorry, 300 age uh, to see kind of how bone dogs would perform very, very late game. Okay, so basically what I've got here is what I'm going to call the alpha and apex bone dogs. So we got alpha uh, 20 through 100, and then we've got apex 20 through 100. Uh, anybody who's played ARC and has used the Primal Fear mod before, you'll know where I got these terms from. So <laughs> I love that mod. Uh, anyway, uh, so the alpha bone dogs, these guys are at age uh, 150. And the alpha or the apex, those are at age 300. Now you can see they're massive, right? They're much, much bigger. Now these alphas, they look deceptively small, okay? But they're not. Let me just do just really quick. I'm going to take this guy over here, and we're going to we're going to go next to a person. You know? I mean, look at this skeleton, okay? This bone dog is huge. And this is at day or not day. It's at about it's probably day 50, I think, if my math is right. It, somewhere between 50 and 60, I think. Uh, because it, you know, you get roughly two and a half uh, age per day, and it seems to be that uh, at 150 age, it'd be somewhere a little bit over, a little bit over day 50, right? So maybe somewhere between day 50 and 65. Uh, just guessing, just estimating there. So they're pretty big, and but then you know you look at these apex guys, and these are at, at uh, age 300, so it's at about maybe somewhere between day 100 and 120. These guys are massive. They're huge. Uh, now I have no idea how much they eat. I never even checked that. Maybe they maybe they eat more. <laughs> Looks like they do. Uh, anyway. So I guess they get a multiplier by age for that too. That makes sense. So what are we really looking at here? Sorry, I got a little distracted there with all these big bone dogs, how, how cool and big they are. So let's look at the stats here. Now, my tanks, for me personally, uh, I like them to run somewhere uh, over 20, right? Uh, if that's possible. Now, it's uh, it's going to take a while for them to get there, but it's, it's going to take longer for your uh, bone dogs to get to day, you know, owning them for roughly 60 or so days, right? But check this out okay once we get into the range of this alpha which is at age 150 or day somewhere between 50 and 60 we're starting to hit 20 miles an hour and that's in 20 stats okay by the time you've got a bone dog that high you're going to be somewhere between 40 and, and 80 so here at 40 we're sitting at 21 and at 80 stats 80 athletics we're sitting at 23 now athletics luckily is a lot easier to level so you the chances of at day 60 or so after owning a bone dog for 60 days you will probably have their athletics up to 80 uh, especially if you stop carrying them when they're an adult or halfway through an adult or, or when they start being an elder, um, even running them around all the time for 10 days, you're probably going to have uh, high enough athletics to get to the 80 mark. Once you get a 150 or a, a 150 age bone dog to be uh, 100 stats or 100 athletics anyway, I should say, uh, they're going to be running around 24 miles an hour, which is great. Okay, well, what happens when we get into the apex range? Look at these guys. Okay, at at basically day 120 or so, or age 300, so after you've had these guys for a long, long time, they are fast. They are really fast, okay? It takes a long time to get there, but when you get there, these guys hit like monsters, and they are super fast. I mean, this is only 20 stats where you got 58 attack. Um, once we get into the 80 to 100 range, which you would be surely at this age, look at that. The speed, I mean, look at the KO point, right? And this HP, they're huge. Their HP are just crazy. So you got, you know, 400 or so HP, 360 and everything it looks like, uh, 426 blood, and you're ending up at like 38 to 39 miles per hour. No problem. These guys are going to keep up with your dudes that are wearing cybernetic limbs. Now, it's going to take a long time to get there, but if you can keep your bone dogs alive until they're age 300, that's what they're going to end up being. These are monsters. So, are bone dogs worth it? I think early game, they probably don't really add much value, but late game, certainly, certainly, uh, you know, uh, mid to late game, they're going to start to come into their own, and in very late game, you know, 100 days plus, these guys are going to be absolute monsters, and they are going to destroy anything that you are fighting. So I don't know if they're going to be soloing everything, all the bosses or anything, but and they still don't have any damage reduction, so they're going to take a lot more damage, but their toughness, I mean, their toughness is unreal, okay? Uh, that, that multiplier is crazy, so... The multiplier just brings all their stats into this crazy, crazy stage. So, 
Uh, now maybe these don't actually occur, maybe I'm wrong on that, because these seem really, really strong. Uh, so let me know in the comments if this is just something that I was able to do with the mod and if they would never actually get to this age. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting my bone dog to be that old because in my last game they, he was so slow even as an elder I was just like yeah I don't really want one and so I just got rid of it. Uh, so maybe somebody who's if you've ever had an actual bone dog get to be uh, you know 120 days old or 200 days old or anything like that let me know in the comments below uh, what the stats were like on your your bone dog that's an elder or in this case an apex bone dog that's what i want to know i want to know when you actually get a bone dog to apex status which is like you know between one and 200 days of gameplay what are their stats do they cap do they get diminishing returns or do they actually show up like i've kind of got them to show up here in this mod so now uh, the ones that i know are pretty accurate are up to the beginning of the elder but i don't know how old they can actually get so maybe they can't actually get that old maybe they cap out at like you know age 150 or something i'm not sure let me know in the comments if you know uh well if they can get this old then i would say absolutely bone dogs are going to be monsters later game and and certainly uh worth the time it takes to uh to bring them up and raise them so thank you guys so much for stopping by today uh, and giving me your time it's been a ton of fun making this video for you guys if you liked the video or found it useful uh and had as much fun as i did give me a thumbs up there on the video if you didn't let me know in the comments below what i could do to make videos like this more useful or impactful for you or what i could do to make it more fun for you and as always it's been so good seeing you guys and i can't wait to see you in the next episode of kenchi love you